welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Anna and I'm a little bit spooky and today we are doing a filming room, studio, makeup room, beauty room, glam room, whatever you want to call it, full tour. <laughs> I'm going to show you the final product of where everything ended up, how it looks all decorated and finished for right now. And this is also kind of the spooky edition because we do have our fall and Halloween decor out behind me. Some of that's probably going to stay year round. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> so this is just going to be the whole tour. See what it looks like. And yeah, if you have any suggestions, thoughts, comments, whatever, leave them down below and I will be sure to get back to you. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this little room tour and makeup storage situation. And I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, this is... Stepping into the studio, you have a pumpkin usually. She is usually just following me about. Her bed is right there. Directly walk in, but here's just kind of a overview of the room. <laughs> you can't really see much when you walk in. It doesn't look like anything. For some reason, I'm going to show you over this direction. This is the corner that I used to film it. But it looks a little familiar to you. But over here, I have, I still have the sheet on the wall that I'm using as a backdrop because I figure it can at least bounce some light. <laughs> and keep things from looking too yellow because as you see the room is i believe buttercream was the color panning down here we have just some i think this is some stuff that i was going to give to my niece and just a, a few planners and things and this is actually for my friend chandra right here as you come over this is an antique table i refinished um it's super old <laughs> but anyway on top of it i just have like my writing utensils pens pencils markers Look at y'all tray. This, I keep my nose rings in because I swap them out a lot when I'm filming. And this pretty little office of the queen thing for my friend Lila. A couple of dry erase boards. Some little clips and things. Like kind of just more like stationary focused on this side of the room. This is my secretary which is also an antique. And I refinished it. And this is just what I have on the shelves here. You see I just have some things I like just uh, as decoration. That's my mom right there. And that's my mom, dad, and uncle. And then a picture of me and my brother and sister-in-law. And yeah, these are some of the bridesmaids flowers for my wedding and the little jar that we had out. Yeah, just some little special things that I like. Hi, <laughs> you see my reflection. I love this picture frame, by the way. It's like from the dollar store a million years ago. That's a silhouette of me when I was little. <laughs> and yeah, just some pretties. Uh, everybody has a dagger, right? in their beauty room. I don't know why you wouldn't. And gargles. In this part we have just stationery. Stuff like that. I think I showed that in the last video. This is just all like office stuff and stationery. This wall doesn't have anything on it right now. I think I'm going to put a couch right here or like a little sitting area because I actually do have room and I can tilt my lights to have an alternative little filming space for more casual videos. Now we have this is declutter stuff um, to give away, donates, whatever, that I just don't have room for right now because I've got my Halloween stuff out. <laughs> Here is the current background for spooky season. Some of this may end up staying, I don't really know yet, but this is just what I have going on right now. Uh, this is from Joann's, Joann's Dollar General Target a couple of years ago. I don't remember. <laughs> this is just some pretties I put behind me. Not all of this, of course, shows while we're filming, but some of it shows and they go to move around. You see bits and pieces. And it's just kind of parts of my personality and things that are related to makeup, I feel like. <laughs> I think if you've got it haunted, it's just perfect. So we have a lot of bees, a lot of snakes, and bats. Those are kind of my three favorite things. I also like spiders. Bees are definitely my favorite and snakes. So I have a lot of snake and bee stuff, and of course we have this little tea towel that says stay spooky. I'm going to use for flat lays, and my backdrop looks pretty cool right now. I would like to get another light, make a tall one to put there. And again, the curtains are temporary for right now. My filming desk, I'm currently drinking a coffee and a soda. Do not judge me. <laughs> but this is what the filming setup usually looks like right here, minus what products I'm using. I keep this little box here. I think my phone came in this. I'm not sure. Something came in it. A wireless charging thing. But uh, And this is where I put like the makeup that I am currently wanting to use that day or whatever. I just fill this up. Things I want to play with that day. And then I have my little melt mirror that I use 
for filming right now. This is for bouncing light. It is a foam board covered in tin foil. I have also covered up these little riser boxes. Well, boxes I'm using as risers to hold my tripod and everything at the right level in tin foil. That way they also bounce light. Because why not? A little, every little bit helps. And then up here also is like the skincare that I'm using, setting sprays, stuff like that that I'm into right now before makeup kind of thing. Like my my daytime skincare, if you will. And there's just a random nail polish sitting there because sometimes I polish my nails in here. I spend a lot of time in this room. I have my setting sprays and primers and just all that kind of good stuff. Uh, face razor, extractors. <laughs> That's all those right there in a little Sony Kashuk thing and on top of a box. And then if you come this way, move my sodas and coffees out of the way. This is the mirror. Oh god, it looks so dirty. I didn't notice how dirty it was. This is the mirror I usually look in to film. It's dirty because I constantly am grabbing it on the sides and moving it and stuff splashes on it all the time. But this is what I look in when I'm usually filming. This is like directly below the camera and you can't really, it's not in frame, but it's right where I can see into it. This is my little remote, obviously, for my shutter, a nose ring, some lashes, a lighter from a candle behind me. Things are always stuck to this. And then this ugly mirror is the one I use as a secondary mirror and for also lighting because it does put out a nice, a good bit of light. It is old. It has beat up. It has seen better days. Will be replaced soon. It just hasn't been a priority. Um, up here. Now this is a fantastic little setup. Let me tell you. I'm living in the 21st century right here. So this laptop right here, I used to use as my monitor, right? Well, it, it, uh, the battery doesn't work in it anymore. And my little genius self just grabbed a mirror, put behind it, and used that as my viewfinder from now on. And it has actually worked out way better and been way less of a pain in the ass. Because I would always have to pair the phone to the laptop, mirror the camera to the laptop, this and that. And it was just a whole thing. And sometimes it wouldn't work because it would do it over Wi-Fi. I'd have to plug in through a USB. It, it was just frustrating and ingenious little thing of putting a mirror right there and just using the laptop basically to hold it in place yeah oh and uh these are my soft boxes i these are from newer that's all i use for lighting right now that this mirror i have this little light here and then one up there uh my lighting obviously can be improved and we'll get there we're growing but yeah this is actually working extremely well and a lot easier just to do this than worry about pairing it up to the camera anymore in the laptop and hoping it works. That laptop is super old, did not want to work very well to begin with, so it was only a matter of time. Over here, I always keep my tablet. Uh, I work off my tablet sometimes, and a lot of times I'm just watching shows on it. I use it for editing, like pictures or whatever. Everything is dusty, even though I just dusted. Ugh. I got the little you know, S Pen. It's a Galaxy Tab 3 or something. And it it's it's fine for now. I like it alright. I can't really do a whole lot on it, but I can do some and I can watch shows on it. So that's what I look at while I'm filming. And you're usually sitting right here where that mirror is on a little tripod. I don't know where my tripod is. Uh, I don't know where I put it. Anyway, so down here or over here we have just this three shelf cart situation. There's little makeup-y fingerprints on everything that I can't see in real life because I don't have great vision apparently and can only see it on camera. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I keep my brushes up here where I can just grab them. I usually pull out brushes I'm intending to use and set them up here. Yeah, they're all just organized into different little cups and organizers and I have all my beauty blenders living right here and a random scrunchie. Next, I have wear hair products I'm really into using at the moment. A couple of headbands, brush, teasing things. A couple hair tools at the bottom. And that all just stays right here next to me. So this first drawer here on this desk. This desk is from Target. It is the Guthrie collection, which I don't think they carry anymore. But I absolutely love this collection so much. Um, we have another one of these in the office. But it is like a cherry wood and then black. I think it's so pretty. It's got these beautiful gold hardware. Really nice quality. So this first drawer is a little messy, but this is the drawer I keep like mascara, brow products, eyeliners in, and lash stuff towards the back. And yeah, that's what lives in this drawer. I'm slowly swapping out my little baskets to cuter ones and matching. It's getting there. Just takes some time and I'm I'm slow about doing stuff like that. Next drawer, 
I used to keep a scrunchie in here. It's lip balm, lip scrub, some more skincare. These little guys I use for cleaning up. This I used to clean my lenses off and all that. And then I have some lip liners right here in Q-tips live in here. I love Q-tips. Q-tips are my favorite thing. I could live without these, but Q-tips, mm-mm. Q-tips are it. But yeah, that's what's in my desk. I have my little trash can under here and then my thing for my empties right back there with a paper towel roll sitting in it for right now. <laughs> but spinning back around to the credenza, this is actually a media cabinet. Why? I literally just wiped all this down. I swear, my house is just <sighs> constantly battling the dust. But anyway, this was just a media account cabinet that's for like a TV. And I decided to repurpose it as storage or will buy it for storage. I specifically bought this for makeup in mind. And it used to be in the office because I used to do all my work in there and now I have my own room to work in. Down here, this is just some declutter stuff that needs to go into that bag or whatever. But it's been on around. I also got glass put on everything because I tear stuff up. I know how I am. I have to have the glass top or else I destroy it. Moving down to, this is a three drawer side. I need to touch that up. I keep forgetting. Well, what happens is I dust and I wipe all this down. And then I come in here with my dirty little makeup fingers and touch everything and then just dust happens. Anyway, let's move into this first drawer. We have three drawers here in a row. These are all very like smooth. I love the way they open. Okay, so this top drawer is going to be our highlighters. I like highlighter. Don't, don't come for me in my highlighters. Larger highlighting face palettes. We have some liquid highlighters. This is all blushes and bronzers over here. I have like one bronzer. Yeah, and these live in these little glossy box boxes. And it keeps it pretty organized and neat and easy to get to. Next drawer is more like complexion products, like contour, powders, like setting powders, that sort of thing. Foundations, concealers. Yeah, anything that's like for the face lives in this drawer right here. And then the next drawer is my lip drawer which we have already seen the declutter of that but yep it looks all nice and tidy everything's pretty easy to get to and i can find everything i'm looking for so yeah this i like this setup there's also room to grow i also have some lipsticks up here the prettier ones like i talked about before and then if you open these are two sliding cabinets so if you slide the side open this is where all my eyeshadows and palettes live we have like naked palettes up here, some Huda, uh, smaller palettes live right here. I've got a few samples that just didn't want to fit in the drawer right and they kept getting hung. Just some random tall palettes, some vice palettes, stuff sentimental that I'm keeping anyway too. So that's how all that lives right here, nice and tidy. This is the decluttered already final product that you're seeing. <laughs> and then just slides closed and it's hidden from view. And the next side, I actually just have some stuff stored over here. And then this one other basket of eyeshadows, which I can easily get into. But yeah, I've got room to grow. I've got some more storage baskets and stuff. And yeah, so far this setup is really working out for me. So yeah, that is basically how I have uh, organized and stored all my makeup. You see, this is how I film. It's very kind of bare bones with the equipment wise. I make do with what I got. I think as the channel grows or as, I, you know, as opportunities come along, yeah, I'll probably upgrade to a better camera, a better lighting system, whatever, but when the time's right and I think I'm okay right now, I'm content with what I'm doing and I'm still just really focusing on my editing and that kind of side of things first before I try to jump the gun and get something equipment that's so fancy that I don't know how to work. So right now I'm content with it, but we will of course upgrade when the time comes and as we grow and you know all that kind of stuff but yeah I am uh, so happy in this room and with this setup it's probably the first time I've really been happy with a filming setup <laughs> so it's really it feels really good to have everything where I want it easily to get to it's organized I feel really just content and comfortable in here like I sit in here so much I will sit here and work off my tablet type blog posts up I'll do my nails in here Sometimes it's coming here to hide. <laughs> it's just my little sanctuary and Pumpkin has her little corner in here. So she's a happy camper as well. And yeah, I think it, it's 
it's a good good fit so yeah i just wanted to show you around the filming room and beauty room whatever you want to call it my studio i call it my studio um there's actually room in here now where i can have people come in and we can do makeup together i can have my friends come in here and i can do looks on them and that's something i'm really planning to do is do makeup on different people different ages different skin tones just to show more techniques because i love to teach i really do that's one of my favorite things about this YouTube is not only just sharing like life and all this stuff, but I also like teaching. I like to explain and show you how to do things from an artistic standpoint because I'm, I don't know, it's just a, it's something I always enjoyed doing. But anyway, thank you for hanging out with me and seeing the setup. I'm just tickled with it right now. And if you have any tips and anything you think would be a, a better upgrade as far as lighting or, you know, a filming setup, whatever. I'm all ears. Please let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and stay spooky. Bye now.